What's up? Something that makes me question my sanity is I'm driving an hour and a half one way to pick up a 4x12 guitar cabinet. But it's a good deal and uh, we're driving to Gainesville, Florida to get it. So that's three hours round trip. I gotta really want this cabinet, right? Anyways, I think they only made 50 of these cabinets. And I have two half stacks that use these two cabs. So I have two of these cabs. Whoa! And on Facebook Marketplace, I just happened to see one posted in a dusty corner with bad picks. And it's pretty beat up, but uh, it's worth getting because I have wait, I have six heads. Uh-oh, Popo, hold on. to hide the camera there the guy rewired the jag on it and it's got a bunch of tears and dings in the tolex and stuff but i figured it'd be a project for the channel right man there's a lot of curves on this road dude here hold on look at this whoa and what's dangerous about this road you see the speed limit 55 miles an hour. So yeah, man, we're just gonna cruise to Gainesville, Florida from an undisclosed location because I don't want anybody to know where I live. Whoa, we are turning left. Here we go. I don't know if you can see the road sign. Hmm, ooh, car's coming. All right, we getting on it. Oh no, you're gonna see the road. No. I want you to see the road. <laughs> We're not that close to my house anyways. I mean, the roads would get you in a hundred mile radius of my house, but who cares, right? But uh, yeah, man, let's kick back and chill. The sun's going to be going down on us. I don't know what kind of footage we're going to get with that, but uh, so we're off to Gainesville, Florida, folks. Maybe a little bit of story time on the way. Probably a lot of sped up film and uh, jump cuts. place right here is called Buck and Doe's. I think it's still called that. Dude with a fishing pole and a skateboard, man. I don't know the name of this road, but I'm not taking GPS routes just because I'm from Florida and I know where I'm at. As you can see, traffic is just terrible on this road. And we could just cook it on up, you know. Oh, here comes a car. Oh my goodness. You know, Florida is so packed. If you take any of the GPS routes, it's, it's starting to get like little New York City down here, man. So it's kind of like LA, you know, you got to know where you're going to get around. It's starting to get that way here, man. You know, this is a pretty sweet road right here. I think, man. Oh no, I just ran over a board. I hope that don't flatten my tire. So I think the next place is Moss Bluff. Meadows Corner. There's a gas station. Dude, this is in the middle of nowhere, dude. <laughs> I don't even remember what's down that road. This is like some Jeepers Creepers looking stuff, man. You know Jeepers Creepers, the first one? It was shot here in Central Florida. It's almost like I'm expecting to come up on an old church and see the Creeper. Big city Moss Bluff, folks. I ain't been out here in a long time. I think they got a dollar store. Oh man, they got a Dollar General. Yeah. No littering. $500 fine. Ooh, look at this. The 
It's like a 56, no, that's a 57 Chevrolet. I don't know if you've seen. On that 55 sign back there, someone painted a six. So technically, does that mean I can run 65 and just fight it in court? Say, hey man, the sign says 65. You guys need to change this, man. You know what I'm saying? I could take a picture of that sign and we'd be running 70 out here, folks. Come on, man, get the hell out of the way. <laughs> we are east of a city called Ocala. Hang on. Trying to take it easy on this old truck, man. Usually I'd be getting on it more, but uh, we're losing light. The sun is going down. I've taken some back ways over to an interstate. I'm gonna bypass Ocala. I used to drive a cab in that town. It was horrible driving at night. It's a rough town. <laughs> You know, for being in Florida, you guys up in West Virginia and stuff are probably laughing. Put it this way, you fly off of this bridge, you're gonna feel it. Look at down here. We're coming off of it now. I don't know if you can see. We're going downhill now. So, it was ramped up there pretty good. We're probably three or four miles from uh, Silver Springs, Florida gonna cut north of Silver Springs and Ocala. I'm trying to stay in the woods as much as possible until we hit interstate. Yeah, here comes our road. Ooh, and no one's turning right either. <laughs> yes. show up on Google Maps just get off of the interstate man <laughs> this is uh, West Anthony Road right if we was to turn right back there we'd go right by John Travolta's house it'd be on the left you can't see his house from the road now the reason I know this is I drove a cab up here guys someone that lived right beside John Travolta took a cab and I was up there and of course since I'm in a cab I have the cab light on I, I went cruising around the little private drives around there He's got like a back gate that's off of a dirt road that's locked, but the main entrance to his house is from a gated community. I got in a lot of trouble driving a rock truck in this area. By rock truck, I mean semi. We're about to turn on Interstate 75. 75 no man
probably in about 45 minutes or so we'll be in Gainesville. killed the dash cam because that's my cell phone. I needed to put in where I needed to go in the GPS. I'm not that familiar with Gainesville, you know. The phone's now a GPS, folks. We have five and a half miles to our exit. Shut up. Oh, we got a homeless girl. I don't know what to think about them guys. I don't know if they're just hustling money or if they really need help, but uh, I don't know. It's panhandling. Try not to look over. I don't know if you can see her in the camera. Hmm. You know, if I knew it was really helping, it'd be different, you know, and throw them a buck or two, but uh, just never know. You know, there's places you can go if you're homeless up in this area, there's Salvation Armies and stuff. I mean, if you're homeless, go there. Pretty sure you can eat and everything there. I don't know if I should keep riding behind this drunk. Continue on Florida 331 North for two miles. like the popos over there harassing a panhandler. Yeah, there was a panhandler just sitting in the media and he had stuff scattered everywhere. This is an interesting town, man. <laughs> This is an old house here. I'm gonna guess that symbol means it's some kind of fraternity or something. This is a college town. I have no idea, guys. I am just guessing. There's a little girly girl walking up the street. What's up, baby? Oh, here comes another girly girl. Whoa! Got nothing but the tube top on. Nothing but the girly girls. I kind of like this town. There's another girly girl. Oh my God. Phi Delta Theta. You ever seen Revenge of the Nerds? Alpha Lambda Lambda or something? There's three girly girls. Give me a violin, be like that dude. Do, 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 do. Oh! I don't know if you see that. She did the hair flick too, man. Mm. Oh! With them hips and the cheetah pants. This is turning into not a music video. We're a quarter mile. Oh, we're almost there, guys. Three minutes away. Where's this GPS taking me, man? Northwest 16th Harris for half a mile. Take the next right onto Northwest 23rd Avenue. Northwest 23rd Avenue. Then you will arrive at your destination. I had to clear the GPS out for a little bit. And when I put it back in, it was just sort of that auto fill from a previous address. And then it said Portland, Oregon. Okay. 
It's not telling me which side of the road. You have arrived. Furniture. We're just going to pull in here and just guess. Okay, here the dude is. He said white Honda. Dude didn't want to have the camera in his face. There he goes there in the white Honda. Well, we got it, folks. Boy, this thing looks kind of rough. But hey, it's old, you know? This thing's like 20 years old. Goodness gracious. But yeah, it needs a lot of cleaning up. This is a beat up version of the cabinets I'll use. Whoa! The cab's absolutely filthy. But it's a good project, guys. Stay tuned to the channel. The guy went and took the jacks out of here. The factory stuff's gone with the factory switch. He wired his mono 4 ohm. That's got to go because my heads are stereo. At least it doesn't smell like cigarettes and stuff. Kind of smells like carpet freshener. This thing has definitely taken a dirt bath. The guy must not have really even cared. I mean, if I was gonna sell something, I would at least wipe it down with a rag. But hey, we got it cheap, guys, 100 bucks. It's got the original speakers in it, so he says, and they sound good, man. I can't really explain what the speakers sound like. They're pretty warm sounding. <laughs> You want to know what really sucks? He didn't put all of the hardware back in here. And he didn't put this in here either. And I don't even know if I can get these grommets. Probably going to have to order this hardware. I have the jacks coming. The wire is stereo. That's a real bummer, man. So he's only got four screws holding this whole back end. You know, you got four 12s beating on the back of this thing. It's going to rattle like crazy. When I seen that he did this, just the screw in each corner, I had a funny feeling he did it to the back too. It's just I couldn't see from the pictures. You see all of this beat up stuff and then you just really can't tell the screws aren't in it. What can you do, guys? People just don't give a rat's ass. But if there was only 50 of these made, this is one in 50. And I have two, so I have three of 50. Whoa! So this is one that got rescued. Anyways, enough of that. So I got it loaded. This thing is so filthy. I didn't even want to put it in the seat of my truck. The side isn't too bad, so I just tipped it sideways. Be all right. Yeah. I guess I'm going out the way I came. This is what's bad about trusting the GPS. Man, I could turn right. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Head north toward Northwest 23rd Avenue. Northwest 23rd Avenue. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna head east and then turn right onto, uh, yeah, this road right here. Take the next right onto Northwest 13th Street. Hang on, hang on. You. Yeah. I wasn't that easier than running around the block. We are out of light, guys. So we're just going to cruise on back to the house. I showed you guys the way up there. We're just going to do that in reverse. So I'll holler at you at the house. I just had this dude in this pickup road raging. People are driving like fools out here tonight, man. Okay guys, we made it back home. Tomorrow I'm gonna try to find some hardware for this back plate, but this is a cabinet we'll mess with in the future. It'd be a decent little project. We'll talk about the wiring and stuff since I got to rewire jacks for it. You know the deal. Well, hey, thanks for riding with me to get this cab, guys. This is it for now, and I will see you next video.